friends and families, as COVID has become so rampant and so difficult, I am taking this position to show you what are the things that we are doing today in the ICU to help a lot of our patients. If you look at my feet, you look at my knees, my elbows, and my position. We are now in a difficult situation. We're having hard time really delivering oxygen to our patients. We are having truly hard time treating our patients with respiratory failure on the ventilators. So what I showed you is one of the maneuvers that will help you move the oxygen into your lungs and move your lung secretions. So there are th this position that I showed you at the beginning of this video helps you to send oxygen to the lower part of your lungs. COVID will attack the lower part of your lungs, seep out fluids that is as thick as glue block the lungs and lead to suffocation literally and respiratory failure. Many studies without a shadow of a doubt have shown that the best way that we can deliver oxygen is we, the ICU team, place patients in a position on their stomach. Even the better position is what I showed you at the beginning of this video where you're on your hands and your knees, then you drop your elbows like this and you put your head down and you breathe in deep and you cough. This is called proning, proning, P-R-O-N-I-N-G, proning position, that position. Search it on the internet so you'll see even more illustrations and details, but that position is extremely effective in mobilizing all that gunk and thick secretions, glue-like secretions out of the bottom of the lungs, which is the bigger part of the lungs out so you can cough it up and that will recruit your lungs and protect your lungs from suffocating with COVID. Besides the social benefits, the spiritual benefits and the other benefits, in Salah we also acquire physical and medical benefits. Normally when you breathe, only two-thirds of your lung capacity is utilized. The remaining one-third of the lung, the air remains in. Only two-third air comes in as fresh air and goes out. The one-third air is called as residual air. When you do sujood, the abdominal viscera, they press against the diaphragm. And the diaphragm, it presses against the lower lobes of the lung, which causes exhaling of even this residual air. So once the residual air goes out, more fresh air comes in, which is responsible for a healthy lung. 